Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining this webinar. Again, my name is James Sullivan, and I am a certified financial education instructor, which is a long title. So I just like to say CFEI. But then people are going to ask me, what does that mean? So <laughs> that's why I say uh, the, whole, the whole name. I am certified by the National Final, uh, I'm sorry, National Financial Education Council, if I can just get that out correctly. And again, thank you for joining me. I'm excited to share with you what I have. Uh, if you don't know me, um, you know, you may not know that I like numbers and I like budgeting. I love all this type stuff. So I am doing something that I love. And also I'm doing this because I love to share things that I know uh, what I've learned with people. Uh, you know, people ask why I do this, and that's pretty much the main reason why uh, I do this. So I'm going to uh, stop talking about myself. Oh, I do, I do want to also mention that, um, you know, this, this is another way to give back. So I think that's important when we, when we talk about our community, how can we give back, you know, uh, we need to stop complaining about people not doing things the right way. Uh, I think it's it's our place in most cases to teach, you know, our the younger generation or our, even our peers on things that we have learned and picked up. Again, um, I'm your one-on-one -on -one financial coach. So uh, we're going to talk about, uh, of course, uh, your financial foundation which is the mindset. That's going to be the most important thing that we're going to, to discuss uh, this, uh, this evening. Of course, you know, your budget, your credit, and your peace of mind or your, or your freedom uh, is what I like to call it. And uh, this is going to be a part of the Empower You series, which is uh, a facet of Millennium Forward, which is the, the nonprofit. Uh, and we focus on financial education, um, technology ideation, and also real estate investing. But this, like I said, this webinar is strictly um, talking about the financial found foundation, which is the mindset. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. You know, everyone has a pyramid of, of this where they want to go or if, you know the steps to take and this is the step that uh, we chose to, to go uh, go by and like I said before you're going to hear me say it a lot <laughs> so bear with me and, and please don't um, take it the wrong way but the mindset is the most important thing period you can't fix your credit. You don't. You can't figure out how to budget. You can't figure out how to get out of debt. You can't uh, figure out which loans are the right thing, and you can't be or experience freedom or have a peace of mind without first correcting correcting the mindset. So again, we're going to get more into the mindset today. But uh, the second step is budget and credit. Okay, in that module, we're gonna be learning about budgeting, saving, uh, your spending habits. Uh, you're gonna learn how to create a month monthly budget and savings plan. Uh, you're gonna identify the correlation between your credit history and your financial reputation. You're gonna learn how to maintain and build and repair your credit. That's what that's about. Third step, loans and debt. You know, it's important that you understand the types of loans, uh, what's the loan qualification process. Uh, you will gain awareness of the types of debt, the best way to pay off debt the quickest. Uh, some people say pay the highest interest rate first and then apply the minimum payments to your other debt. Some other people say just pay off the the lowest balance debt, and then you snowball it 
and eventually you'll pay off all your debt. Both are right. It just depends on what stage you're in. So um, just keep that in mind. Then freedom, peace of mind. I, I like to call it uh, living an auto draft lifestyle. Eventually you won't have any bills when you pay off all your debt, but in the beginning it's auto draft. Uh, auto draft, your mortgage, auto draft, your light bill, auto draft, everything. To me, that's, I never thought I would live that way, but once you control where your money goes, it's, it's a piece of cake. I promise you it is. Just, just bear with me. I promise you. So th those are my steps uh, when it comes to financial education. So let's go ahead and jump right in uh, and start on the mindset. The first thing uh, I can sum up, and you see it here in one word, and that is motivation. What is your motivation? Um, what is your motivation to acquire money? Uh, plays in the, you know, it plays an important factor in your overall financial success. I'm going to use this story. I may use it another time. But I've been in situations where um, I didn't want to be in a certain situation. And my motivation was, and I get into it a little more, was not to ever feel like that again. Uh, another one of my motivations is now that I'm not in that place anymore is I want to live freely. Uh, people say I want to retire. That's important to me, uh, but it may not be important for some people. And this is another motivator for me. I want to be able to one day give away money. That may sound crazy, but I want to uh, give away money. Um, Another thing, I want to uh, invest my money. You know, just learning, um, you know, about money and, and credit and debt. I think it's fun. When you, it's fun to invest. I think I find joy in doing that. But that's, that's me. Uh, what I like may not be uh, important uh, to you. Uh, so, that's motivation. I mean, if you can't, some people have a hard time thinking about what mo motivates them. I'm not sure why um, it has to do with purpose, you know, purpose in life. But if you can't find the motivation, I like to ask people, what are the reasons for you wanting to learn about money? Why, what are the, what are the reasons uh, why you want to repair your credit? Why do you want to budget? All those can be motivational factors. And then on the flip side, think about all the reasons against why you shouldn't learn about money or your financial well-being. I guarantee 100% the, reason, the reasons for doing something will outweigh the reasons against it. I bet the house on it. You hear me say that a lot also. Again, what is the most important thing to you? What motivates you to get money? Why do these things motivate you to get money? These are some of the things that you, start, you need to start thinking about when it comes to your mindset. Also, you, you, you have to stay true uh, to your motivations. Your motivation will shape how you spend money. I guarantee uh, like I said, motivation, which we already talked about, you know, how does the mindset develop? Where did you learn about money, money and emotions, dreams, goals, and being a lifelong uh, learner? So, uh, back, you know, to talking to, about motivation, uh, we move on to the next. Uh, how does the mindset uh, develop. Well, if you look at these uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the mindset develops depending on which stage you're in. Um, like I said, everybody's different. Um, and let's say, just, just take this for example. If I gave you $5,000, what would you do with the $5,000? What, what would you spend it on? Now, if you if you're the person that who would put it back for, um, 
you know, saving it for, you know, the future or whatever, then you're probably going to be uh, on the security needs. You need that, you need that uh, need addressed. If you just want to throw a big party, you know, there may be love and belonging needs, you know, just set it out for everybody. Uh, but, you know, if you're worried about how you're going to pay your light bill or, you know, paying your mortgage or scared to get kicked out or, you know, uh, just need to eat or need to find food, then you're going to be on the physiological, uh, you're going to be in a different area. Uh, you know, you have, just take a look at those. And, and like I said, you have to realize uh, where you are uh, when it comes to your needs. If you don't know where you are, you 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 don't you won't know how to address them. And again, like I said, this is all about the mindset. How you change the mindset? What do you think? How you need to think? Now, think back of how you uh, you spent, uh, how you would have spent the five thousand dollars. What were your motivations like? Um, you know, when we talk about your motivations, uh, you know, we all are. Uh, subject we, we all are we're conditioned it's called human conditioning you know like humans are conditioned to move away from pain and of course towards pleasure you know but I want you to also realize that there's a there's a positive aspect of pain avoidance and an example of that is insurance you know even though um you know it's pain avoidance you pay monthly uh to avoid the pain of you know paying a, a huge out-of-pocket uh bill for whatever health or car whatever it may be so you know you're dealing with that so that you don't suffer the pain later but the negative aspect uh, is if you had a bad day, if you or at work, or you just met, if you're just mad, um, you buy the bar at the club or something, or you buy some shoes that are on sale. You know, that's a negative aspect of it because you can't really actually benefit from that. I mean, it make you feel good because you're going away from that the pain of having a bad day to a pleasure of buying something new, but you know, it's not really benefiting you at all, <laughs> to be honest. Now think back to the $5,000. What did you, you know, did you spend it on when you're imagining where to spend it? Did you spend it on avoiding pain or did you uh, spend it on something about seeking pleasure or was it both? Another important aspect of, when you, of money and when you think about uh, how to save more budget, raise your credit scores. Where did you learn, learn about money? This is, uh, and, and, and what I like to ask people is think about, uh, or at least list the five top influences in your life when it comes to uh, fin your financial life. Now the key, uh, the key is usually we learn about money through our parents, um, school. Uh, it can be your friends, and when I say school, I don't even remember. Like in school, I probably wrote maybe. I think like one check. <laughs> I didn't talk about debt. I didn't talk about credit. We didn't talk about any, and this was back in the late nineties, early two thousands. I'm giving my age here, but the most important thing is we didn't learn about money from places where we needed to learn about. And another thing too, when you like, of course you stay with your parents and the people who raised you, you can't really help that but your friends, and you can't really help what you learn in school, but your friends and the people you surround yourself with, um, they need to be 100% consistent with your values, your beliefs, 
and your lifestyle that you want to that you want to live. And this is just a quick example. If you want to be a doctor, you you shouldn't hang around with a baseball player. You know that type of stuff. Uh, you 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 should learn uh, from people that are consistent with your values, your beliefs, and your lifestyle. Another influence uh, influencer is social media. You know, I had a friend or I have a cousin, I have several friends who say, oh man, my girl was just on Facebook or Twitter, or Instagram, and you know, their friends are going out all the time, taking vacations, and now she coming at me talking about why we don't do none of this stuff. <laughs> Which, you know, it's okay to take vacation, take time to yourself, but you have to be careful not to get caught up and what you see on social media, because nine times out of 10, the people who you see that you think are doing it, they're not really doing it. So we call it keeping up with the Joneses. And like, I'm not casting you to hell if you, if you have done it. I've done it before too, uh, but I've learned from it. And uh, like I said, it all goes back to the mindset of you thinking um, about your values, your beliefs, and, the, and your lifestyles, and where you want to go. Uh, moving on to another influencer is very important, is advertising. How many people have clicked on, uh, just, I don't know, went to Google and searched for, you know, tires, a shirt, shoes, vacation, whatever it may be, then that's, and the next thing you know, you logging in on your phone, then you get a, uh, a dang advertiser it's because they're tracking what you do so it should really should be illegal but i understand the targeting aspect the marketing aspect of it but just be careful with advertisers i mean they know what you do on your smartphone they record everything that you do so you have to be careful they'll make you spend money you don't want to spend let's just say that um and lastly i'm just going to read this uh, money is a social tool and our attitudes, beliefs, and practices are heavily influenced by society. Now, or ask yourself, now are our friends living um, with the financial values that are consistent uh, with the lifestyles that we want for ourselves? That is a uh, important question. And I will ask you again, are our friends living with the financial values that are consistent with our, uh, with our lifestyle that we want for ourselves and our, and our family? That's a, that's a crucial, crucial question. Now, money and emotions. You know, we, we're trying to shape the mindset here. Now, think of um, you, and I've been in, not this actual situation, because I kind of know, I try to look, <laughs> look in my wallet um, before I go out to eat. But you want to go to dinner with some friends, but the cheapest thing on the item, on the, on the menu costs $30 and you only have $22. Now, I have, um, like I said, never been in this situation, but I have been in the situation where something costs more than the money that I had in the bank. Now, how did it make me feel? That's the, that's the question, money and emotion. How did it make you feel? I've been in a situation where I had to ask my uh, a family member for money because I was about to get kicked out of the house, um, which was, you know, my first house in my early 20s. And, you know, I thought I had it made, uh, you know, I'm making some decent money. I'm buying like all types of stuff that I didn't need. And next thing I know, my mortgage is due. Uh, I can't remember, I don't know, $850, whatever it was. I, but I had like $100 in the bank. So I had to break down and ask that family member um, for money. And I'm lucky and blessed enough to have a family member like that. But think about the people who don't have, you know, a family member to to ask that, you know, ask for money. So those are some of the things that I think of. And, you know, when it comes to your emotions, you know, some of the things that we um, think about or, you know, the, 
the eight uh the eight fears or the eight emotions you more than likely you have trust you have uh fear you have sadness you have surprise you have disgust you have anger anticipation and you have joy now when i was in that situation i experienced uh fear sadness uh disgust i was mad those are four emotions right there so when it comes to our money and emotions uh believe it or not you know money can uh, evoke any of these feelings and just think about it um if if your emotions and when it comes to money and emotions think about if you were in my situation you know i was stressed out um you know i mean i was uh full of anxiety uh, but if i would have had money you know th those feelings that stress could have been avoided but don't don't get me wrong now people uh, a lot of times money can make people feel happy and feel joy but there are a lot of people who have you know a lot of money and wealthy wealthy but are lonely because they spend all their time trying to make money which that can be a lonely life if you don't have any friends or, or wife or anything but you know just just remember that um and also when you think about money and emotion when you think about the marriages uh money is the number one reason for divorce um like i said money can affect your personal health you know when people are in stressful situations that like i said they carry anxiety they often neglect other areas of their life uh, that help maintain good health you know like exercise you know good nutrition uh and you know just sleeping so you want to be aware of those um uh, of those type things uh, when it comes to your uh, money and emotions now the next thing that's important that we need to discuss is uh, your dreams well let's say goals and dreams or dreams and goals pretty much they are the same uh just your goals are things that you're going to put down on paper so just ask yourself these simple questions uh how do you want to live your life who do you want to share your time with what would you like to have you know, just let's close your eyes and just think about those questions. Or better yet, think about taking a, uh, let's say, a relaxing vacation where it can be, I don't know, the mountains, um, whatever, just somewhere that you love to go fishing, hunt, whatever. Um, let's say you could, if you like to, like to hunt, you can just go into the mountains and just spend, you know, months and months up there. That's a dream, of course, because you dream, you're thinking about it, but whatever you're feeling that you are feeling you know think about it you know whatever it is it's more than nine times out of ten probably ten times out of ten is gonna uh, require some type of money i mean not like it could be gas or taking time off or you know it, it's go it's gonna take some money to get to where you want to go when it comes to your dreams so just imagine if everything came true uh, with, you know, who you want to uh, live your life with or who you want to share your time with, how would it look like? How would all that look like? This is, I'm asking you, you have to think about that. How, how would it look like? Because you can dream about it all day, but like I said, a, a goal is, you know, you actually putting it down on paper. So you have your dream of your vacation. Uh, so, I would ask for you to write down um, what's, what's your dream, what, what is a, a dream of yours, write down in the next one or two years. And you have to, I mean, you have to realize it's all, again, it's a mindset thing, it's a mindset thing. Uh, your lifestyle choices, you know, they're going to um, affect your dreams. And also, just think about this too, you know, while you think about the next one or two years, what do you want to complete? Um, what are two uh, ways that money can affect your dreams? I mean, think about that, you have to write them down. Now, uh, I mentioned goals, uh, this, when it comes to mindset, goals probably one of the most important things. 
Um, you know, I said those are essentially uh, a person's dreams that are written down with a detailed plan for achieving them. You know, most people have dreams, uh, but very, very few um, have specific plans for uh, achieving, achieving their goals. Uh, like, for example, I want to buy a car. Uh, I want to buy a car in two years, or let's just say I want to buy a car. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty much a dream. But if you want to say I want to, a goal could be, I want to buy a car in two years this month. Um, you know, you're going to figure out what car you want, how much does it cost, what car you like. Then next month you create a savings plan because you already planned on how much it costs. Then within six months, or six months, you know, you check your credit, make sure your credit right. Uh, then in a year, you go ahead and check for the registration and the insurance, get that call. So you have a plan or you have a goal of achieving how to uh, buy that car. And it's the same way with when it comes to budgeting, saving more or trying to get your credit right. You have to do a little research on the front end and then you have to you know, write down specific items, which brings me to uh, SMART goals. I use this almost, well, I use it every time that I'm, that I'm um, um, trying to achieve something because you, you just have to be, you just, you have to be aware of, you know, where you want to go um, and things of that nature. So SMART, I mean, it's, it stands for specific. Uh, it has to be a, a, a defined end point or a target um, of interaction. So, again, specific. You know, an, an example, uh, you know, what we had talked about earlier was uh, the car. So, an example is you're saving money to buy a car. It's, it's much easier uh, to keep that savings plan when you have a model, a color, and the features that you like or have already picked out. You're more specific. I mean, a car could be uh, a Hyundai, it can be an Audi, it can be uh, a Mustang, whatever. But once you get, um, you know, the model, the color, or whatever it may be, then, you know, you're being more specific and that's important. Measurable, um, you know, attach numbers. You know, for some reason, I, I like I love numbers, but you have to be measurable. An example is, uh, I will have a net worth. I'm just throwing it out. I will have a net worth of five hundred thousand dollars by age sixty. You know, those are numbers you can measure. The A stands for achievable or attainable. You know, an example could be, I want to be the president of the United States. That's a goal. It's a tough goal, but it's possible. But wanting to go to Wakanda to meet um, Black Panther, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so uh, relevant or results oriented. I like to use phrases uh, that are in the po in positive, like say, I accomplished, um, I have, I am enjoying, you know, positive phrases uh, direct your mind um, and then once your mind is on board you know your body the rest comes naturally no time driven or time limited give yourself a deadline example could be um, I will pay off my $2,300 credit card by Memorial Day you know these Steps are important. Very everything is important, but when it comes to you know changing the mindset, um, that is one of the most important things that you can do. Uh, set smart goals. Become a lifelong learner. Uh, this is also important because we should always want to continue learning, uh, whether it's reading a book, talking to others that. <laughs> you can talk to others that have the same values um, and the lifestyle that you want to live. Those are the people you need to talk to, but it's also to talk, it's okay to talk to people 
because you can quickly realize I, I sure as hell don't want to go down that path. <laughs> so you can learn something, learn something there also from people like that. You know, read uh, articles uh, from like the, the business section. I mean, true enough, there, there may be some words on there that you don't understand because I don't understand everything that that's on those type business sections. But that's a good thing. If you don't know, what do you do? You go and read about it. Like I say, it's all about changing the mindset. Once you change the mindset, everything else, I promise you, will come easy. Uh, play money education games online. I mean, with these smartphones, we have all types of games that we can download. Um, I haven't played C Cash Flow by Robert Kiyosaki, but I heard it's a good game. Even when you think about Monopoly, Monopoly is another good thing that people just take for granted. Really, they just play the game, but they don't, they don't even grasp the concepts of the game. Um, another one I said, what, visit the business and finance section in the bookstore or library. I'm a big advocate of library, so um, this, it's a I mean, it's so much information out there and programs that the library offers. I mean, take advantage of, of that stuff. Um, again, like I said, again, it's, it's about the mindset. Before you can, you know, increase your credit score, before you can budget, before you can save, and before you can live free, you have to change the mindset. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep saying that because that's important. Uh, pursue internships and volunteer. When I first got to Birmingham, I um, I just really jumped in because I wanted to learn about Birmingham. The same way can be, you know, it can be the same when it comes to financial education. Just jump in, uh, find something that you're interested in. I joined organizations um, like the Birmingham Change Fund. Uh, I'm on the board of the Birmingham Public Library. I mean, just jump in. I'm the neighborhood president. If you want to learn something, it's it's available for you to learn. So uh, read blogs. You have to be careful sometimes with blogs, but it's still a good source of information. And like I said, once you change the what, the mindset, then you know everything else will come easy. We're almost wrapping up because I want to be, um, you know, cognizant of everyone's time. So. The these are some of the topics that I I um, that I have, and if you are interested in any of um, these topics, you know we're going to complete the steps. I'm going to offer free webinars for this is the first step, which is the mindset things that you need to do to change your mindset. Uh, the second step, I think, is uh, is credit and budget, or your budget and your credit. That's the second step. So I have a, fr a free webinar for that coming up. Then you have your loans and debt, uh, a free webinar coming soon. And then it's not on here, but um, the other one is going to be uh, freedom or peace of mind. Uh, that's going to be talking about, you know, ways to invest, like easy ways to invest, not, not complicated ways, but, possibly into real estate or uh, the stock market without even looking at it. Uh, entrepreneurship is an, another thing that we'll talk about in the freedom. So um, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I have account management, retirement planning, risk management, and insurance, governmental and economic influences. You know, think about those. And I would love for you to send me an email uh, or, um, uh, leave a comment of what you would like to, um, to see. Um, just let me know. Um, I'm on Instagram, which is, uh, people say I need to change the name, but I like it. <laughs> it's Black Alchemy. Uh, reason I named it that because um, I love this. One of the first books I read was The Alchemist. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I will also recommend Think and Grow Rich, uh, As a Man Thinkers, uh, The 8020 Investor. Uh, those are just some of the books that I have read that I would love to share. Um, you know, 
share with you because like I said, I believe in sharing information. Uh, I'm on, uh, if you hashtag empower you series, you can find on Facebook and also Instagram and you can sign up for, you know, the classes, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, also my email address is, is Malin forward. Um, and like I said, that is the nonprofit. So moving along, of course, I can't leave the course without the plug. You got to have a plug, of course. <laughs> so the first thing, uh, what we talked about today is your foundation. Uh, like I said, again, it's the mindset, the mindset. Uh, the first, this your money 101 and 201, you know, budget better, save more than soar your credit score in three months. That is a self-taught online class that I have. It's going to include the things that we talked about today, but it has a lot more information. I couldn't talk about all this stuff today. I just, it will just take up too much time. So um, all of, uh, again, all of these courses can be found on the, um, on the website, which is uh, Empower You. Of course, www.empoweruseries.millenforward.com, which is it's on this slide here. So you should be able to uh, go there and look at the um, and look at the courses. But uh, the next one is loans and debt. Um, you know, again learn how to uh, how some loans are okay and the best way to tackle your debt you and your credit um you know uh you and your budget build a budget all those are self-taught classes so um feel free to go on the website uh, which i am going to uh put a link well you can see the link but i want to add it um on the chat so you can just click on it oh that is not right so i'm going to add it now and then also um i have the uh one-on-one coaching now what that is is of course it's just what it is it's one-on-one -on -one coaching and what i want to be able to do is um provide you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching to people um, because I found it hard to um, um, to go, uh, you know, just to go places and and you know bring material, um, you know, print out all types of information. It was just hard, so I thought why not um, offer it online? So I think that is a good way uh, when it comes to getting the message out. Um, you can reach more people that way. And of course, you know, you see the, uh, the price and everything, uh, you know, it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one co coaching and support with the course curriculum. So, you'll have um, the curriculum, then you'll have me one-on-one -on -one now, and it will be a video, well, you can video or if you don't want video. So I'll work with you through that. And also um, the first 10 people on all the courses, I'm offering a 25% off any course. So uh, I think that's a good thing if you wanna be the first 10. I just uh, uploaded a link um, that is to schedule the one-on-one -on -one courses, but also I want to uh, include the link um, to the actual uh, self-talk courses. So, um, which is you see it there on, on your screen, but you know those are I'm just putting that out there because you know of course this is the free class and. If you feel um, if you feel like you want to go farther in the in the course, you know, uh, then you know I want to provide you with that that information. 
So um, I want to thank everyone for um, joining in. Um, actually, this, <laughs> this is, this is going to be funny, but this is my second time doing this tonight because the first uh, session was at six o'clock, but, um, you know, we had, I don't know, 10, 15 people, maybe, I don't know, on that, on that, but eventually it'll get bigger. But um, I forgot to hit the record bu button, so I'm doing this again. So <laughs> that's a funny, funny note for tonight. So this is actually live. And um, this is my second time doing it. But again, I just want to thank you for taking the first step um, and to, you know, take being, you know, gaining control of your budget, your, your finances, your credit. Uh, and again, like I said, the first step is your mindset. I mean, that, I just cannot stress that enough. And um, again, thank you. Uh, also, leave, send me an email, leave comments of what you thought about it. How can I improve? I always, I always want to um, do better. So I enjoy uh, the people who, who signed up. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you uh, in the future. Uh, and we will be talking about the, the next step, which is, guess, OK. It's going to be uh, budget and your, and your credit. So um, it's just going to be some fundamentals. Of course, I can't talk about everything, but it'll be a free course. But you have um, the information on your screen if you want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching and, or if you want to do your self-taught taught online courses. You have that email also on your screen, uh, a website on your screen, I'm sorry. So if there are no questions or any comments, uh, I just want to thank everyone for dropping in. And hopefully you have learned something. Uh, if not, um, you must be sleeping during the class. <laughs> Again, thank you so much. I'm James Sullivan, your one-on-one uh, -on -one financial coach. And you're a certified financial education instructor. It has been a pleasure. Um, and I hope to see you, see you and hear from you soon.